Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Okay, so let's take a look at our controller. So index, done. Create, done. Store, done. Next in the list is the show method. So the idea for this one is to have right here a link that says read more. When the user clicks that link, then we make use of the show method here to display the whole article and not just a part of it. So first we have to implement the read more functionality. So inside the index view, let me open it. I want to display only 100 characters. So this is where we display the whole article. So one approach to handle this is to use the substr function, the PHP function, and get just 100 characters. So let me show you. Right here I will cut this. And what I will do is to use the substr, so this is our string, and then we start at 0 and we end at 100. So we get the first 100 characters. Anyway, this is just plain PHP, there is nothing new. So if I go back to this, it looks like we have an error. Let me see this. Oh yeah, we have double double curly braces. <laughs> okay, save, and go back, reload. And as you can see, we get just 100 characters for each article. However, I don't feel so good seeing this. I would prefer to have this a bit more random. Because every line here, every article, is almost one and a half line. So for this, I will go back to the view. And instead of displaying 100, I will use another PHP class, the random int. And I will get a value, minimum 60, maximum 150. If I take a look at this now, you can see that because now it is random, it is a bit better, I think. Each article is not exactly one and a half line, which makes this a bit better. Anyway, the problem that I have now is this code right here. At this moment, it became too hard to read and maintain in the future. So you have to read the content to understand what it does. You have to read the code. So it becomes even more difficult now that we have a function inside another function. This is something that I do not want to have in my code. I want this to be a bit more clear. So what I will do is to cut this code. And instead, I will say article short content. The problem with this is that the short content attribute doesn't exist. So if we go back to the articles, the content is now disappeared. It is not there anymore. So let's create the short content attribute inside the article model. So I will open the article model. And for this case, I will use an accessor. So we have already seen mutators and accessors. So an accessor will access the content attribute because when we get the content, we want to format the result. So this one here is a mutator. And now I want an accessor. So public function. This one will be a get because remember, mutators start with set, accessors start with get. So get, what do we want to get? We want to get short content attribute. And I will return this, actually not this. We want to paste the code that we got from the view. So instead of article here, this is where we say this and everything else remains the same. So if I save this and I go back to the view, it looks like we forgot a semicolon right at the end, back to this. And now it works in the same way. Nothing really changes. And I think it would look a bit better if we have uh, three dots at the end. So right here, I want to concatenate three dots. Okay. Mm -hmm, a bit better. Okay, so inside the index view, we want to add the read more link. So right after we display the short content, I will add an anchor tag. So this is where we say read more. And for the URI, we have articles and then the ID of the article. So article and we get the ID. So why is that? Well, we have already discussed why we get the ID and why this is the URI. 
but let's recall why. So on your terminal, run PHP Artisan route list, and this and this will list all the routes in your application. And you see that these are the routes for the articles controller that we are just working on. So the show method is right here, and for the show method, the URI is articles, and then you pass the article, which in our case we pass the ID. So instead of passing the ID, you can actually pass the article as a whole, and this is what we call model binding. But we are not there yet, so <laughs> I will just pass the ID for now. Anyway, so this is the URI for the show, and this is exactly what I'm doing inside this view right here. So if we go back to this, you can see the read more link, and if you click here, you go to this blank page. So this happens because we do not return something inside the show method. It is totally blank. So to show you how this works, I will just return the ID for now. So if I go back, you can see 1. If I say 100, you will see 100. And whatever you say here, you will see it. Basic stuff, we have already seen this. So I want to find the article that has this ID. To do this, very easy, article, and we use the article model, and then we use the find method that we have actually used a lot. I will return this just to see the result, and back to this. Because we do not have an article with this ID, it returns blank. However, if I say 1, it will return, oops, sorry, 100, it will return the article with the ID 100. If I say 1, it will return the article with ID 1, and so on and so forth. As you saw, when we pass an ID that doesn't exist, it returns blank. However, instead of blank, I want to notify the end user that there is no article with this ID. In our case, this totally random string. So Laravel makes this very, very easy. So we can modify a bit the find method to find or fail. So if you find this, then return it. If you do not find this, then fail. And this is what it does. We get the not found HTTP exception. Now, if you prefer to return a view instead of this page, then you can create a 404 inside the views folder. So let me do that inside the views. We have another folder that says errors. And in this folder, we already have a 503 view, which is used for the 503 error. However, I want to create another one, a 404.blade.php. And let me see there. Mm, okay, so this design here, it looks good. So what I will do is to get the code for this one, paste it here, and I will change the title to 404 and the text here to nothing was found. Sorry. Okay. Let's see this now. If I refresh, you see that we get this view instead of the of the error earlier. Okay, so what is next? Next, we have to create the show view. So inside articles, I will create a new view, show.blade.php. I will get the code from the create view, just to not repeat ourselves. And I will get rid of the, of the form. So just delete the form. And here is where we specify more information regarding the article. And of course, the whole content this time. Anyway, let me start. Right here, I will create a span article by Renato Husa. So again, hard code your name here until we start working with relationships. Anyway, let me continue with another span. And this one has the class pull right, the CSS class. And for this one, I want to return article created at and then div for humans. Oops, humans, okay. Now inside the body, I just want to output the content without any formatting, nothing. So just content. Now let's return to the view. So actually, instead of returning the article, I want to return the view. So right here, return view articles.show and of course we have to pass the article because we make use of the article inside the show method right here. Okay, save, go back and this is a view. Okay, so I think that we are doing very very well. We have authentication, 
we can view our profile, we can create a new article, we can view the feed and open each article separately. So good job everybody! This is going to be amazing!